Dawson's mansion. Here I am at last. But the question remains. Am I ready to make a dying man my progeny? Finally you're here, Dr. Reed. What took you so long? I had to pass several of your barricades and outposts to access your mansion, sir. Death, pestilence surround us, and time is against me. I see you've gathered some of the most expensive, albeit experimental, blood transfusion equipment available. All this could be so useful in a hospital. Yes, yes. Since Lord Redgrave sent me a doctor to perform my conversion, I thought you might find some of these devices useful. Most thoughtful. But tonight I'm not here as a physician. But I feel reassured that a specialist such as yourself would help me to escape the Reaper. Very well. But before I proceed, I have a few questions. If you must, but be quick, for I don't have much time left in this life. First of all, I need to be sure that you know exactly what is going to happen to you, sir. I can assure you I'm as informed as any man can be. I have planned for this moment, Dr. Reed. Planned very carefully. Believe me, there is a huge difference between reading about vampires and waking up as one. I learned that myself the hard way. Oh my god, man! Stop your whining! I don't have time for your pointless jibber-jabber. What do you know about the guard of Prewen? What I do know is that I'll crush anyone or anything that would dare to oppose me. I will become your maker. Do you understand what that means? Well, I certainly won't consider you my liege or some such drivel. You can be assured of that. You'll need to feed on warm blood. Blood from mortals. How do you feel about that? I'm rich, Dr. Reed, and powerful. I'm sure I'll be able to acquire all the blood I need without ever having to sully my own hands. Let's move on then. Please, I'm cold and tired. I feel my life waning with every moment. But first, before you embrace immortality, what would you do with such a gift? That's a rather impertinent question, Dr. Reed. And I will do as I please. Answer me all the same. What will your first action be as an immortal? To save London. I will finance the most efficient quarantine ever seen. I will build a wall that will separate the sick boroughs from the healthy ones. Quarantine is not a bad idea, medically speaking, but I'm convinced this epidemic will not be contained by mere walls. As long as the right people are on the right side of the wall, that's all that matters. What if a new outbreak happens inside your walls? You'll have created a giant trap. That won't happen. 
As long as we dispose of anyone that is contaminated, as soon as they are spotted. I've heard enough. It's time to proceed. At last! All right, do what you have to do. If it hurts, so be it. I've been preparing such a long time for this. You don't deserve immortality, Mr. Dawson. What? What are you prattling on about? I don't believe I've ever met a man so bereft of empathy. You, sir, are despicable. No! Wait! You can't! I made a deal with Lord Redgrave. I'll finance whatever he wants. Please, just ask him. Sleep now. Rest now. Forever. <laughs> I would have lived forever. Who are you to decide my fate? Who gave you the authority? Is it done, Dr. Reed? Is Aloysius Dawson reborn, as expected? Alas, Aloysius Dawson was not brought back to life after his death. The man is gone. What? What happened? He didn't survive the procedure. 
he was too weak. This is unacceptable, nevertheless. You were given the simplest task. Well, get rid of me then. From now on, you're an outcast. Banished. You are forbidden to ever appear in front of us again. Ascalon will smite you on sight, and your heart will be thrown to the rats. I'll leave you then. Have fun with your puppets and shadow plays, Lord Redgrave. Yes, go, traitor, and take that awful creature, that counterfeit of a woman I saw waiting for you, and be gone! Step away, traitor. Return to your dubious friends and your decrepit hospital. Do not dare show yourself again, you or that monstrosity you bring to my door. We meet again at the strangest of times, young Ekon. So do you serve the Earl of Bristol now? Old Bridget? What are you doing here? Your friend, the wise Ekon. She sent me to warn you. Lady Ashbury? You know her? Tell me what's going on. The lady approached me but a few nights ago, wanting to meet the Sewer Skulls. Once she questioned Harriet Jones. She agreed to help us. Harriet Jones is still with you, then? How is she doing? Harriet remains angry, but is recovering slowly. Her mind is twisted, but at least her body is healing. Tell me what is going on. The lady asked us to keep an eye on your mortal doctor friend while you were away. We spotted the hunters. They were discussing plans to attack tonight. Wait, slow down. I need to ask you something. I'm listening, but I do not have time to waste, so be quick. Why do I feel like Lord Redgrave was particularly irritated to see you? Far more so than the average Skull, if I may say. Because I used to know him quite well. And he is afraid I may remember who he really is. You're Elizabeth's informant. You're the one who told her about Lord Redgrave's lies regarding his lineage. Yes, but my words were not meant to hurt or threaten. I simply told the story of the Sewer Skulls, and of so many other forgotten children. How did Elizabeth find you? She presented herself humbly at our gate, and asked if we knew of any ancestral vampires hiding in London. She asked about Ascalon. She asked about many things. What do you think of her? Her soul is good, yet tainted with a deep sadness, and the scars of ancient wounds. Time does that to us immortals. For we have so much to dwell upon. Why did she come to you? I am old Bridget, the buried memory of the city. She sought the silent truths. Truths I have kept hidden for so long. Where is Lady Ashbury right now? She said she will go home. She needed to speak with some old friends first, though. Do not worry, young Ekon. She is no fool, and just as strong as you. No time to lose, then. I must go there right away. I shall return to my den. Have you a message for the lady? Should I see her before you? Tell her I worry about her. Do not, for she has had strength and wisdom for so much longer than you. Go now and take care, young Ekon, for the flames are rising. <laughs>